Krista, Aya says hi. Oh, hold on, I got Peach again. Hi, Gracie, can you hold on a sec? Aya, Gracie's on hold. Mom, I'm on the phone. Katie, sweetheart, your father has to make an important business call. I'll call you back, bye. I'll call you back, bye. I'll call you back, bye. Thanks, we appreciate your sacrifice. All clear, dear. Oh, thanks, hon. Hello, Bill. Yeah, how about those tigers, huh? Look, sorry it took so long to get back to you. I was going over these figures here. And I... Oh, darn this call waiting. Can, can you hold, please? Hello? No, Katie can't come to the phone. Call back. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill. Now, as I was saying... Oh, uh, all right, then I'll proceed as, as planned. Uh, thank you, Bill. Yeah, goodbye. Who called me, Daddy? Uh, just a sec, uh, Princess. Somebody called me. Who was it? Uh, oh yeah, it was a boy. Uh, didn't get his name. A boy? A boy? Oh my golly, was it Jared or was it Ralph? Mike or Joel? I, I'm sorry, honey. I, I'm not sure. I just, I, I don't know. You don't know? My life is ruined! Oh dear, here we go again. experienced something like this before? I think we all have, personally. Well, I have. My name is Q Doma. You probably remember me off some of the most regular shows that I have also produced, Mother Be Gone, and Sit Down Santa. Now, this is what I have to say about this. I have to deal with a very lame sister-in-law. Yes, she's very, very lame. And she is due to the fact that I am married to someone. Yes, yes, I think we've all dealt with this. This is a serious problem in our communities and also in our society. Now, what would the cure be for such a thing? Well, I have a new invention. I call it Sister Be Gone. Yes, Sister Be Gone. Basically, it would be no more than a small device that you would keep on hand. And all you would have to do is push the button, and boom, they would be gone. I tell you, they would just be zapped away. And of course, when you were done your activities and whatever else that you needed to do, all you had to do is reinitialize, press the button, and a sister would reappear with no memory whatsoever of the transaction that has taken place. Yes, this new invention I call, I call it Sister-in-Law Be Gone. It would revolutionize all families and everyone, and everyone would have a most happy life. Yes, sister-in-law be gone. May not sound as catchy as mother-in-law be gone, but I can tell you it is most effective. Fortunately, on a good side note for myself, I do not have to deal with my sister-in-laws like some people do. Some people have to deal with them on a daily basis. The constant fighting and the constant inadequacy and the constant stress. I can't even begin to understand it. I'm going to tell you, sister-in-law I have, she's lame. For one, she I don't even know if she even has a job. What I think about it is she loves to sit there and persecute other people. Taking all consideration, mom and dad are paying for everything. Yeah, she's not doing anything for herself. Personally, I think her boyfriend should leave her dumb ass and get with someone better. On top of it, when she gets angry, she needs chocolate or some type of sugar item to actually calm her down. Which is, I don't know, what do you want to call it? It's, it's strange. It's, 
bizarre. She has some serious issues. She can't stand to be away from her boyfriend too long, and she shows it by making everybody else miserable in her path. Personally, I find that kind of thing very shallow, and I find it quite childish. Yes, very childish. I tell you, what is up with these sister-in-laws? Why do they have to be so daggone difficult? I guess that's why they're called sister-in-laws. Because basically is they force their law of, of who they are on everybody else. It's basically, I'm angry, so by law, I have to make everybody else miserable in the room. And it's like, oh, by law, you know, pay attention to me because everybody else is insignificant. By law. I tell you, what are we going to do with these people? You know, I mean, personally, if it was up to me, I would literally lock them in their room and never let them out. Literally. Or just have a, a you know, just a zap ray, just a vaporize. I don't know. Of course, I like my current idea. Push the button, make them disappear. That way it doesn't seem so cruel and unjust. Some of y'all probably can understand the pain that I've experienced here. But... I'm not going to make this too long-winded, and I'm just going to leave it like that. Sister-in-law be gone. Little miniature button that you have, you press the button, and they're gone. Plain and simple. You don't have to worry about the mooching, the constant nagging, the constant persecution all the time. Literally. Definitely. Yes, this is the stuff I have to deal with. Was, you know, I have to hear the backlash, the stupidity, you know, the, how they are so understanding when it comes to certain things. Pathetic. This is what I have to say to sister-in-laws all through America that make everybody miserable. Get a life. Get over it. Life goes on. Because I'm going to tell you, there's going to be somebody you're going to come across. And you're not going to rub them too right. And when that time comes, you're going to get it right in the ass. Thank you. This has been a Q-Doma moment. Thank you.